Hello, everybody, and welcome to the last episode in our Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 series. First things first, let's get this out of the way. The Virginia Real Coaster's name is now Mudslide. Because it was muddy, it looks kind of muddy, and there's a lot of sliding going on, and twists and turns, and it fits perfectly in the jungle area, and it's great. So there you go, Mudslide, the last name. So this is the episode where we ride all the rides. So once again, the time limit is gone. There's no, there's no limit here. I plan on doing this in sections, and it's gonna be a long one, so hold on to your butts. First things first, this area right here, I mean, this was where the park first started. This is where it all began, in this little area right here. So I'm going to ride these rides first up until the hairpin. I'm not going to ride that one until later because we just did that one not too long ago. And then I'm going to go to Sci-Fi Land, ride all those rides. And then to the Wild West, ride those rides. Then to the Jungle Area, ride all those rides. Then to Atlantis Area, and then I'm going to end up probably on the Love Coaster in the hairpin one. Because those ones I just did not too long ago. And then finishing off with the flying coaster again. Just so we get one last look at everything. So, there's a lot of rides to ride. So, without further ado, here we go. Observation Tower's back. Because we don't have to worry about people breaking on it. And here we go. This is what it would look like if this was here the whole time. And you can see out into the park. Wow extraordinarily bright and you can't see anything now so there you go <laughs> look at the beautiful sunset it's absolutely blinding oh god there's sci-fi land jungle area and wild west which is just you know white <laughs> awesome by the way i'm not completely done adding scenery and stuff i'm going to do some more of that before i put the park up for download because I want this thing to be completely amazing when you guys download it. So I'll probably live stream that a couple times. The live stream link will be in the description. So you can start watching those when I do the next park. So yeah, all that stuff should be in the um, description for you. And we're almost done with the spinny tower. I think I called it UFO Adventure. And then something along the lines of, why won't this stop spinning, dear God, or something like that <laughs> later on. Tower. Observation tower. Done. Okay, now let's go to, let's go to the first coaster. The coaster that started the series. Wooden Coaster 1. Here we go. Well, this is the way you have to do it in order to get them at the station to start. Close it, set the test, and ride it. Here we go. The first coaster, the coaster that started the series. It's not the best coaster by a long shot. It was completely black for the longest time, I think. And then we we started the new park with it. So here we go. This should bring back some memories of the first episode. I kind of remember it. I think around this part, I said, get ready to put your hands up or something like that. Try not to cry, everybody. It's gonna be a long one. <laughs> Hands up in the air! One more time! Oh god! <laughs> and this is where, look at that bottom. I didn't believe in banked turns. Right here I did. But that last part, <laughs> those should have been banked. I don't even know if right here is banked. Nope! <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? And then from here on out, there's no, this isn't in banked. And nothing else was in bank, just the first turn. Uh, and then right back into the station. I actually did put station around here, which actually looks pretty cool. Wow. Okay, and then we're going to another, the other coaster. Brought from my old park. Look at this thing. I think its name is the Serpent, as I just looked at its name. The Serpent. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and the piece of mismatched color is from the monorail when I was trying to paint that. And I never got around to fixing it. <laughs> Good job. Uh, I actually like this coaster a lot. This is one of my favorites. Just the way it ended up turning out and it was, I'm glad I brought it over. It's just really cool in my book. 
even though the whole loop-de-loop -loop doesn't really make sense to me. I don't think I've ever seen that. It's still cool. <laughs> we go down. There's going to be those hills right here. There they are. I'm going to try keeping the mouse out of the way. <laughs> Second hill. All the way up. It's actually pretty tall. I think it might be one of the tallest rides in the entire park. Which is pretty crazy. It is a wooden roller coaster. <laughs> Goes down, and then we go to the twists, which its namesake's from. Or which is why I picked the name for from whoever uh, suggested it. These twists right here, because it's like snake, serpent, coiled up. Perfect. Perfect! Down, and there's no unbanked turns at the end. I was still stupid then. I think this was episode 14-ish. This coaster was made. <laughs> Still stupid. Okay, now let's go take care of... Let's let's ride the go-karts. Actually, I don't know if we can. There's no one in the park. We'll be sitting here. You know what that means? We have to open the park temporarily. I planned on opening this at the very end of the episode, but I need to open it in order to ride the go-karts. I just hope someone actually goes on the go-karts. <laughs> okay, so while we wait for that, how about Babby Coaster? How about Babby Coaster? Every single ride is going to be testing. Here we go. The most popular roller coaster in the entire park. It happens to be a crazy junior coaster. Jeez, I haven't rode this one since the last time. There's a lot of these I haven't ridden. Ridden, rode? I don't know the correct tense of that word. But yeah, it's been a long time on a lot of these rides. I mean, it's not that crazy. Look how slow it's going. Picks up a little speed here. I mean, all these turns are embanked, so... I can actually hear people buying stuff already. They're buying all the sun cream. All the sun cream! <laughs> I remember having to do something special with this ending because I couldn't get it to work right, so I had to keep on looping it around. And then finally I got it. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to cram roller coasters in spots. Roller coasters probably shouldn't be. <laughs> this tiny area. Holy mother of crap! 148 people. Here they go. They're getting on the ride. Oh god, here we go. We don't want to be here, we want to be first. There we go. Are you kidding me? It's broken down! <laughs> Look how happy he is. He doesn't know that he has to wait for some jerk with a hard hat to come fix it. Here he comes. This better be the guy. Oh, thank God. We're good. There's no one even in this car. It's go-karts! It's Drift to City! How is this queue line not full already? It's literally the best ride! It might not be the I mean... Go-karts. Go-karts are awesome. Everybody loves go-karts. Even if you hate go-karts, you love go-karts. Oh, that's why no one was in the line, because it was broken. Let's speed up time a little bit here. Come on. Come on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Slow down. Okay, now I have to pause it, because it went way too fast. Here we go. <laughs> we want a front car. There we go. Oh, we're off! Super loud. Oh dear, I'm trying to keep this centered. It's very difficult. They go very fast. Drifts! This is how it got its name. All the drifts into the tunnel. <laughs> Drift City. I wonder how many laps it is. I think it's like... Two? I can't remember. Drift. Drift. So many drifts. Might be just one. Nope, it's two. Unless this is a victory lap. I don't know. I remember saying I wanted the guests to fly off the track at a bunch of different areas. <laughs> the most right here. Turn around right there. I wanted the guests to fly right off the track. <laughs> Sadly, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay, this is definitely the victory lap. This guy's overlapped like two people. Three. Here comes four. This lady. Uh, looks like they've slowed down. Nope. Maybe. Drifting, that's the key here. Actually, this is drafting, not drifting, drafting. 
got a draft. <laughs> He's not even trying to make their move around him. Come on! Yeah, I'm pretty sure whoever we're following doesn't even care anymore. It's some little kid. Wow. <laughs> some little wiener kid just won the race. I would, if I was riding this ride, I would not allow that. I would have hit this kid. I would have pit maneuvered him. And then on my way back around, I would have slammed right into him, knocked him clean off the track. No way I would have let this kid won. No way. And by one, I mean win. There we go. It's the end. Drift City. It's a great one. Look, that race never even happened. 600 people in the park and counting. You know what? I can't tolerate this. Eventually, it's going to start lagging again. So guess what? Everybody's gone. Get out. I don't care. Get out. Okay, the Enterprise. Let's ride that. <laughs> Test. Everyone leaves the queue line. You know what? I'm closing it. Oh, God. I have to wait until it stops spinning to get the full experience. Is that every other place, though? Did we get all... Oh, we gotta do Nesquik and Fusion, and I think that's all the first-generation rides. <laughs> it's like Pokemon now. Here we go. Yeehaw. Testing. Look at the, look how close we are to the monorail. That's nuts. Is this thing gonna go? Hello? Hello? People are still leaving? Oh, God. This is what's going to make this uh, episode so difficult. All the waiting. There we go. Uh-oh. Am I supposed to be... I forget how these things work. Okay, we're supposed to be like this. Here we go. I'm pretty sure we're not going to get the full effect on this one. Yeah. You kind of need to be there to get the full effect of this ride. Eh. It's, it's missing. It's definitely missing something. I've never rode these rides before in the series. I only rode the ones I built. But riding all the rides means even the flat ones. So here we go. <laughs> even the flat ones. I think it's over, though. That was quick. Good. Enterprise, everybody. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Everyone's just leaving. Are they confused as to why they have to leave? We just got here. Because you're stupid. That's why. Sonia, I'm too busy. I want to go home. You've been in the park for three minutes. And this is why Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 guests are horrible. They're terrible. It makes the game so difficult to play. Anyway, Nesquik Infusion time. This ride was to replace the tower that stopped working. <laughs> and it was off-centered and awful. But now it's not off-centered, and it's like the Pukinator all over again. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And back down we go. If this thing was to exist in real life, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know how that one would work. <laughs> and then right here, is, this is the crazy part right here. It launches into a corkscrew. I mean, that's... I'm pretty sure this would kill somebody. <laughs> that's great. Okay. First generation rides. Complete. You know what that means. On to sci-fi land. Wow. Look at this. Starships were meant to fly. <laughs> Subtle Star Wars picture with Nicki Minaj quote. <laughs> Sometimes I make myself laugh. Okay, you know what, let's just ride the space rings, if I can. Just, you know, get them over with. Here we go. Oh my god, yeah, this is awful. Wow, I think I'm actually getting nauseous. <laughs> I can just close my eyes. Ooh, yes, this is so much fun. I'm enjoying myself. I'm totally looking at the screen right now. My eyes aren't closed at all. Oh, I think it's restarting. See, that's what happens when your eyes are closed. You miss it. <laughs> I was getting... I was seriously getting sick looking at that one. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can't go into this one. Yeah. Team Fortress 2, everybody. Oh, no! You can't do anything with that, which is kind of disappointing. Okay, how about we go on to... The Vertical Drop Coaster. 
Not the best ride I've ever made. In fact, it's kind of crappy. <laughs> it's very crappy. It's just a couple of embanked hills and a helix. And that's all this ride is. For a vertical drop coaster, it's horrible. Especially if you compare them to the ones I've made in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Those things are nuts. This is just so boring. And here we have a delay and it drops. Here's the first embanked turn. Oh, there's a little hill here. Another embanked turn. Another embanked into the helix. And done. Oh, I forgot I added a loop-de-loop -loop at the end. How could I forget that? How could I forget that? Look how that ends. The abrupt end. This was one of the first... I think that was probably the first one I built in sci-fi land um trying to remember i think it might be but it's been a long time how about the um surprise no sonic boom this one's surprise attack and i'm pretty sure surprise is spelt wrong yep surprise <laughs> yep it's spelt wrong good job brain okay here we go no you don't <laughs> no you don't this one was from the old park as well. I actually really liked this coaster at the time. I think it's still pretty cool. But yes, this is definitely why it was brought over. Sonic Boom. Extended coaster, I'm pretty sure it is. As I, I can't remember. I could have just checked. But it does a lot of weird things, like right here. Upside down. Upside down embankment. Still upside down. Right side up, upside down, right side up again. <laughs> Hill. And down we go. I'm pretty sure we're right side up for the rest of the ride. Helix. Some weird kind of bend there. <laughs> and then the end. Looking back at it, I probably could have made it more exciting. But oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, and here we go. Look at this one. Remember Coaster Ball? This thing was initially built in uh, the first area of the park. But then I moved it in order to make room for probably the monorail. And it just kind of worked in Sci-Fi Land. Because, I mean, it is pretty weird. Scientifically weird. And oh my god. Yeah, I don't even... It's done already. <laughs> Very strange ride. But there you go. Twisted Bends. And there, that's what we were just riding. I don't know why I put this little bend here. <laughs> so strange. Why did I do that? I don't know. Okay, what other ones can we ride here? We rode those. That one. What about the space trampoline? Zero G trampoline. Is this one of the ones that is weird judging by no it should work except I think somebody needs to be riding it now I think someone needs to be riding it I don't know well if you want okay let's see if I can recreate this boing 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 space trampoline everybody <laughs> and the bumper cars can't can't oh god I didn't want to do that UFO adventure <laughs> wow, it's amazing how sad bumper cars are when you're the only one riding them. <laughs> That's amazing. You know, even with guests in the park, there wouldn't be anyone riding this ride anyway. Because that's just the way these guests are. And we're done. <laughs> I don't know what that popping noise is. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> Okay, on to, on to spinning spaceships. Here we go. I did that wrong. But I guess we can just wait anyway. Here we go. Up the chain, we're facing backwards, which is going to be an interesting experience, I think. It's probably the way we faced it the first time we rode it, but I forget. Almost at the top. I really like this free look camera a lot better than the old one. 
I wish I found it way earlier in the series. <laughs> so like the last two episodes, three episodes. Oh god. Yeah, this ride's funny because uh, since it's at the park's edge, there's no supports for it. So it's just floating here. <laughs> and it ends pretty quickly. It's literally just floating here. How amazing is that? Scientific fun. Yay. Okay, let's do Warp Gate next. I named this one. Fun fact. Here we go. Oh my god. Nice calm view of the park. Sci-fi land and drops. It's the same thing going up as it is going down. And that's it. It probably would make sense if there was a couple circuits, but I never bothered <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, wow. Sci-Fi Land's almost done. Jeez. Now, this one's going to be interesting. The robot arm. The last time I live-streamed the robot arm coaster, somebody told me how to <laughs> edit the arm movements, which I then proceeded to overdo, of course. <laughs> As, let's just watch this car real quick. Okay, it goes through the track there. It head bangs and then freaks out. Comes around. It's twirling, facing up. Freaks out a little bit. And this is where it gets crazy. Right here. Whoop! <laughs> so, let's just ride it. Let's just ride it. <laughs> Get ready for nuts. And by nuts, I mean absolute craziness. Here we go. Oh my god. As soon as I found this, I was, I was having fun. <laughs> I was having too much fun. Here we go. Get ready to go through the track. Oh, and we're through. Whoa! <laughs> we're headbanging, we're freaking out. I don't know what we're doing now. We're spinning now. <laughs> there was the other car real quick. I was so angry when I built this thing, because it was such a pain to build. Oh, there was the twist. Because he had to make room for the robot arm moving, and I could never figure out how to make the robot arm move. Claw of Terror, everybody. I added some robots by it, so it makes a little more sense. <laughs> oh, God. Well, let's go on Solar Wind now. Solar Wind. Here we go. Oh, if I just press test, will that work? Who? Oh! Pretty crazy ride. Pretty crazy. I probably would not ride this in real life. By probably, I mean I definitely would not ride this thing in real life. <laughs> Dear God. Crazy drops. The only way I would ride this in real life is if it went straight up a million feet, just like the To The Moon video. <laughs> and now the Ferris wheel. The giant Ferris wheel, mind you. I think this looks so cool in the middle of this coaster. It's one of those things that just kind of worked. It was perfect. So I'm really glad that I was able to get that in there. Okay, let's... I don't think I've really... Yeah, I haven't... I haven't rode this one. The noises it's making are kind of terrifying. And it's not broken down, which is even weirder. Good. And we'll get a full view of Sci-Fi Land, I think. All the coasters just going nuts all at the same time. That'd be cool if we saw this thing fly by. There it goes! Huh. I could have sworn those cars were longer. Hmm. That was pretty cool. Are we going to see the vertical drop? There it is. We're not going to see it stall, but we'll see it going up. Wow, Sci-Fi Land went by quicker than I thought it would. Although, in actuality, it probably took about the time I thought it would. It just seemed... We're having so much fun! It's going by so fast. Look at this guy. He's absolutely miserable. Ah, serves them right. Okay, and then we're just going to go around a couple times, but we get the point. It's a Ferris wheel, everybody. And I'm pretty sure that covers all sci-fi land. 
Wow. Good times in sci-fi land. Good times. Well, on to the Wild West. The Wild Wild West. Now, I just kind of put this ride here. Just to see what it looked like. And it just kind of stayed there. So I just put paths to it. I'm trying to get it to reset. So it doesn't ruin the experience. But I don't know what it's doing, so... Um... Here we go. We're going down? Question mark? I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, okay. Now it's restarting. Here we go. Get ready. We're going up. <laughs> I should probably mention this now. This is one of my favorite areas of the park. This whole western kind of little town I made here. I love this. With the cacti and the brush and everything. I think it's amazing. <laughs> one of my proudest achievements here. <laughs> and it's so simple, but I really like it. Okay, I think that's the ride. Oh no, it dropped us again. So yeah, that's kind of boring. Mind drop. <laughs> Mind drop goes, if you had your hands sticking out, they'd be gone. Your arms would get decapitated. Always keep your hands and feet in the ride at all times. Okay, how about we go to Floptastic Flume? <laughs> what a name. What a name. Okay, so yeah, I just have to hit the reset button. I don't have to hit the construction. Floptastic Flume. I really wanted to get a log flume in. So I crammed it in the corner. <laughs> Made it go through the mountain over here. <laughs> and it works. I also had to make a really sharp turn at the end. <laughs> totally worth it. In the end, it was totally worth it. And then the name, Floptastic. It comes from the first or second episode, it's probably the first episode, of Floptastic Meat, I want to say. I named the hamburger place that. I forget. It was definitely named after, it was a reference to the food store I named. And I'm pretty sure it was Floptastic Meat. And it was either hot dogs or hamburgers. <laughs> so Floptastic Flume was just... I had to pick it. It was perfect. I just had to pick it. You know, for a log flume though, this is kind of boring. <laughs> I think that was probably the steepest drop. Unless it goes up again. Okay, it goes up again here. I mean, it's kind of fun, I guess. You spend a lot more time on the chains than you do dropping, so... Hm. There you go. <laughs> and... Drop into a turn right here. I'm pretty sure that would not work. Yeah, not the most exciting log flume. Those drops weren't that tall at all. But what are you going to do? What are you gonna do? Fl it's perfect name for it. Floptastic, because it's a flop. Do I have to ride the western wheel? Fine, I'll ride the western wheel. We just rode a Ferris wheel. But it's small. I'll do one circuit. Whee! Because I know somebody's going to complain if I don't. Western wheel. That was fun. <laughs> and we're done. Okay, let's go to... TNT Vortex. Here we go. This thing's pretty crazy, actually. I like how it just stopped instantly and then just went back. <laughs> there was no physics there whatsoever. Good. Is this thing going to start spinning? It does Okay, it's spinning slowly. Here we go. The faster it goes, the more it spins. Do those seats... Those seats are changing... Wow. Those seats... It's going so fast, they're actually, like, morphing as we ride. <laughs> they're turning into triangles. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was perfect. Wow. That's how fast we were going. It was a vortex, and the seats were just morphing. Beautiful. TNT vortex, everybody. <laughs> That's all the rides over here, right? Yep. And then we go on to the coasters. Here we go. Minecart coaster. 
No, I don't want to. No, oh, I guess we are riding this one. <laughs> Man, I think, was this one a pain to build? I don't think it was. I think, yeah, trying to get the entrance here was a pain. Maybe this, I think there was a couple times where I made it way too intense. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't think you can embank these turns. It is going pretty fast. The cars kind of lean on their own. But yeah, it's going very fast. There's a couple world holes right there. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> but this was a pretty popular ride. I kind of like that end bit there for some reason. This whole little end thing. I don't know. I kind of like it. <laughs> wow. These rides are going faster than I thought they would. Which is kind of good because there's a lot of rides. <laughs> Rickety rails! What was the time on that? <laughs> just just curious here. Look, total customers 10,130. 41 years ago. I don't know where it says the ride time. I thought it said it here. Oh well, I don't feel like finding it anymore. Not important. Non important. Not important at all. How about um Colorado Gold Rush? Is that this thing's name? Yes! The more I, the more names I remember, the prouder I feel. <laughs> oh crap, what are you doing? Here we go. We're at the start. Okay, let's actually sit in this thing. Like we're riding it. There we go. They're already spinning. Get ready to vomit. Everywhere. You see what I did here with the ride? I made it actually look like the seats were gold nuggets. I think that's... Pretty genius on my part. <laughs> oh god. Let's see if I actually vomit on this thing. I can't remember if I was complaining that this one was long. I think it is on the long side. I might be getting it confused with the uh, other one. The temple one. And I'm pretty sure there's like crazy spins at the end of this thing. <laughs> Waterfalls, just like real life. I also think this was the first time I combined two suggestions to form one. I think. Don't quote me on that. I should make, like, a trivia on my channel. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Series Trivia. That'd be crazy. I don't think I'd have the patience to create something like that, to be completely honest. Yeah, this is a long ride. Compared to all the other ones we've been on, definitely it's a long ride. And here's the spins. I wanted to get one of everything. Spins, waterfalls, rapids. I went pretty overboard with the waterfalls, it seems. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Okay, are we in the rapids now? Where are the rapids? Yeah, this is definitely a long ride. Oh god, it never ends. It never ends. We gotta be almost done soon. More spins. Whirlpools. Oh wow, we are almost done. Here's the end. Good. I was running out of things to say about this one. <laughs> On to the next one. Which happens to be... The double train coasters. TNT and Detonator. Two names absolutely fitting with each other. Here we go. As we're chasing we're chasing the detonator. Man. I remember when I first did this in the first park, I combined these two train coasters together. I thought it was so cool. I was kinda of bummed out that I couldn't take them with me because they went underground and stuff. And then I came up with this crazy idea to make it, both of them wrap around a mountain a bunch of times. Which ended up not working at all for the longest time because I couldn't get the mountain right. Every time I tried to build the coaster it would look so weird. And then I found something that worked. The last time we rode this thing, Tube City wasn't even there. And then, oh man, I was just, this is also another one of my favorite things about this park. This, these coasters. This whole setup, I just love the way this thing looks. 
And I'm glad I got to work. <laughs> really glad I did. All the way up to the top of the mountain. And we spiral down. Slowly. <laughs> we'll get there in the end. Don't worry. And I wonder if we're going to be running into the other one at all. Back into the mountain. Up, down. Yeah, I don't see. Oh, there it is. The green one. We just went under it. Under it again. If there was a second... A second uh, faster, we would have been perfect. And then the crazy end, running out of room at the end to try to end the coaster. Wow, they finished around the same exact time. Oh, I think that's the second one. Never mind. <laughs> well, let's ride this one real quick. Quick, the climbing up. There we go. Detonator now. It would have been smarter to ride Detonator first than TNT. <laughs> Just for the namesake. The Detonator comes first and then the TNT. But what are you going to do? No plan's perfect. <laughs> Here we go. And up. Oh, I'm pretty sure I was also building them at the same exact time which was kind of difficult trying to do different things but working on both of them at the same time there's the other one <laughs> I think that's so cool we slowly make our way up this chain hill the other one should be yep there it is hello goodbye I'm going into a mountain now yeah we're not gonna run into that car again I think we're getting near the outside where we go through all the crazy bits right now. Yep. So, yeah, we definitely didn't run into the uh, train we saw on the chain lift last time. <laughs> it was the second one. Oh, there it is. It's coming down now, I think. And this end bit was crazy, too. I just wanted to get it... I just wanted to make it work. And I had to do a lot of crazy things to take down the speed and... And just make make it happen. And I actually liked the way it looked, so that was that was pretty cool. And then trying to get the entrance and exits was just a nightmare, so that's why it looks like this. But all in all, I think it's an awesome design with everything included. Wow, we're almost done with Western Land. Once again, it seems like it hasn't been that long, but it's probably been a very long time. Let's ride these ones. The Buffalo one. The kid rides. We. Buffalo, fun. This thing actually spins pretty fast. Holy crap. <laughs> Buffalo roundabout? Yep, that's what it's called. I've seen this thing break down a bunch of times. I don't think anyone's ever rode it before. Rided it. Ridded in it. And it's over. <laughs> Has anybody? No, wow, 996 people have. Here we go, what's this one? I don't even know what this one's called. Bucking Bull? Yep. Wee. Wee. Oh my god, that thing spins pretty fast too. Holy crap. Huh. I like how it's surrounded by barbed wired fence. I mean, sure, you got some hay bales, but judging by how fast this thing's spinning, and there's an opening, the first thing you'd hit is that fence. That barbed wired fence. Wow, I think I'm gonna vomit just riding this thing. Bucking Bull, and then the last one, the lasso ride. The one that I was almost rode. Here we go. I mean, this one's like the Enterprise, kind of. In a way. I think it just spins. Yeah, this one isn't that exciting. You can just see the scenery spinning around you. Are we taking off now? Yep, here we go. We're on an angle now. It's one of those ones where it's definitely missing something. It's just like the Enterprise in that aspect. Oh wow, that's actually crazy, looking up. I mean, yay, we're done. <laughs> Lasso. Is that the end of the Western land? Looks like it. Look at these ducks. Quack, quack, quack. That one doesn't have feathers anymore, and he's going to get made fun of now. Yeah, I think that's everything here. I'm probably going to miss one ride. Somebody's going to notice it, and they're going to hate me for it. <laughs> oh, well. On to the next. The jungle area. Wow. What was the first ride I built here? I'm pretty sure it was the mousetrap. 
mousetrap named after the stairs here that looks like the actual board game mousetrap. Here we go. Up we go. I think this roller coaster is pretty intense. <laughs> pretty darn intense. Down we go. Once again, it's another one of those ones where you can't embank the turns. Yeah, it picks up a lot of speed here. <laughs> I think I put hills. There's a hill. And here's the hills I was thinking about. <laughs> oh, this is nuts. I'm pretty sure this wouldn't work in real life and people would explode upon riding <laughs> this ride. <laughs> oh, God. Good. Mousetrap. I should color this blue, but I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, and then we got... We got... Day change. Banana... No, this isn't banana split. This is Into the Wild. Because it goes kind of on the sci-fi land border here. And comes down into the jungle. Once again, I'm probably not done decorating here. There needs to be a lot more trees. <laughs> a lot more trees. And this is one of those rides that's going to be very long. I'm going to be trying to think of things to say while riding it. Which is going to be difficult. <laughs> so here we go. Oh god. Up to the first hill. Which we I think I had to stop here because it was too high for its supports. So I made it go down. I had trouble a couple times here getting this to reach the second hill on the mountain. Which brings it even higher. It was, yeah, it barely made it here. But these are supposed to look like b banana bunches, I think. Because, I mean, they, they do look like bananas. And then that's supposed to be, like, on a vine. Banana vine? <laughs> that's not how bananas grow. They don't grow on vines. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> you work with what you got. Here we go. Oh, I should probably be sitting like an actual guest. There we go. Spinning... Crazy spins, crazy fun. I remember really wanting to ride some of these rides when everything was done. I think this was one of them. With the mountain done in it, wow, yeah. This was definitely one of them. That was just all green at one point. The, an ugly shade of green. And now it's complete. Which is pretty crazy. I'm just trying to think. Of all the hours I put into this park. And it's a lot of hours. I mean, I've recorded a lot. And there's a lot of stuff I've cut out. I've sped up. I've done offline. So I put a lot of effort into this damn park. <laughs> so much of my life. And a lot of you have probably spent a lot of your life watching. So if you have seen... If you've seen every episode, every minute of every episode... You're the true hero in all of this. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just trying to just try to say something as I ride all these rides. <laughs> trying to add fun facts about them and trying to keep it entertaining. <laughs> I should what imagine if I've done this if I did this whole episode just silent. That would probably get old really fast. And we're there. I think that's one of the longest ones in the park. To be completely honest, it's up there. It's in the two minute range, I know that. Okay. There's Into the Jungle. Let's do Jungle Drifter before I forget. This is one of the highest rated rides. Which you can probably tell why. Actually, I don't know why. It's pretty fun, I think. Pretty intense at some parts with these turns and the drifting action the car snaps back and forth really quickly but I remember this being one of those ones that the park guests loved and I think I advertised it because of that and I think a lot more guests showed up so you can't argue with results <laughs> oh look you can high five people on uh, the wooden roller coaster there that's <laughs> how close it got Right here, yeah, the, the violent snapping back and forth of the cars. <laughs> awesome. 
and I was able to get a lot of trees and stuff. There's like a mix of all the trees in the game, because there's not many trees in the game. So we got basic trees, prehistoric ferns, um, jungle trees, it's, it's pretty nuts. <laughs> you work with what you got. I've said it before, I'll say it, I'll say it again. <laughs> you work with what you got. Okay, let's go to the, the vol volcano velocity here. I'm kind of glad how this one turned out. It, it ended up being perfect with the lights inside being red. You go up through the volcano here. Through the smoke and fire, up at the top, and then you drop right back down. Just the way it worked out was ended up being perfect. Even though I messed up once and didn't get it centered and I had to redo it. And I think there's still a hole in the mountain because of that. I couldn't change it at the time because of the camera settings, but I could, yeah, right here. I could probably fix this now, even though I'm not going to. If I wanted to, I could, because I figured out the camera settings. Good job. Good job. Okay, on to... I forget this one's name. It's like Spinning Mouse, Wild Mouse, something like that. Dizzy Mouse. A new mouse was in it. Before I forget to do this one. Here we go. I think these, yeah, these carts are terrifying looking. It's so creepy. It doesn't look like a mouse at all. <laughs> Apparently it is, though. It's horrifying. And I think it's pretty intense, too. Spinning-wise. I don't think you can embank the turns. But there are embanked turns. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Oh, this one was kind of like, I kept on making it go through like the same kind of hill pattern right here three hills in a row here's an embanked turn but you can't embank the other turn slope turns you can't do that if you know what I'm saying congratulations if you don't well I do so there you go <laughs> and let's just get one look one quick look at these ugly ugly cars again for old times sake oh god they're so hideous I think I actually made these things look really creepy when the when I made the whole thing ugly. I think I made it an ugly orange, and I made those cars look like serial killers, and it was great. Dizzy Mouse. Okay, and let's take a boat ride from here on the water base. Okay, I don't think I can. Well, let's say hi to the captain real quick. Hello, captain. You creepy, creepy man. I, I, he, I bet you he has a peg leg on the other foot. I guarantee he does. Man, that was really funny when I, when I found that guy out. Take a boat ride over to Banana Split. Here we go. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> We're on the left side. This coaster was a pain. I specifically remember this being a pain to get both of these to sync up where I wanted them to sync up. And it's still not 100% perfect. It really isn't. <laughs> it was so painful. Right here you can see the other one, and it gets it evens up right here and splits. Perfect! But joining it back up was very, very painful. It was horrible. <laughs> horrible. Oh god. And I think... You see it, though, you can see the other one there. I think this one goes through a loop, or does the loop? There's no loop. I thought there was a loop. I guess there's not a loop. No, there is a loop. It's right there. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Here we go. <laughs> I knew there was a loop. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where you see the other car. And I think on this one you see it a couple times. Or the other train. And that's really what I wanted in this. In all of this, it's what I wanted. And it rarely happens. So yeah, right there you see the other train. And you go through the loop. Yeah, you can't see it. I wanted them to pass each other again. And I had to dig through the mountain there. So that's all messed up now. <laughs> and then it, something weird happens here. Or happened on the other one. Oh no, it happened there too, where I was like facing down. I don't know why it does that, but it does. So there you go. Banana split. And the cars look like bananas. Even though they kind of look more like drafts with spots. Good job. 
Okay, and then we travel through the mountain. Over to the side. And you know what? Not yet. We won't do those yet. I'm trying to do it in the order they were built, kind of. Nocturnal house. Let's take a look in here. In these creepy, creepy looking... Looking animals. Look at that thing. That big possum over there. It's not a possum. It's not a possum. Where'd it go? I want to see it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, look. It's one of those creepy things with the small feet and the big eyes. Oh, God. <laughs> the nocturnal house, everybody. Look! It's looking at me. I forget what those things are called. Oh, we got a bunch of, like, rats here. Where's the big thing? The elusive, ugly, fat thing. <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> there it is! The walking Tootsie Roll! That's what it is! <laughs> oh my god, look at that thing. The majestic Tootsie Roll sniffs the air as it lumbers on through. <laughs> look at its butt! Its pointy butt! Its pointy butt is a self-defense mechanism. It also has the ability to walk through trees. If something tries to sneak up on it and eat its butt, it dies <laughs> because of its pointy butt. Wow. Majestic. <laughs> oh, God. The nocturnal house. Here we go. Now we're going to the insect ha house. Oh, boy. Look at those butterflies. Real life. Real life butterflies. And look at those worms. <laughs> oh, my God. Those are giant worms. And those are crickets, grasshoppers, not crickets, and another floating worm. Wow. Oh, we got some sand bugs here. They just disappear as they please into the sand. <laughs> There's some big, oh, it's a scorpions. And I guess more grasshoppers for some reason in the scorpion exhibit. I think those might be spiders. <laughs> Cacti. And another giant, yep, giant spiders. Wow. A lot of thought went into those. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I can't wait to go to the, to the amphibian house. That one should be fun as well. Okay. Now, let's, let's go, let's go with the, uh, volcano coaster here. The Fiery Descent. What a name. What an amazing name. And this one takes a while to get up. This was also a pain in the ass to do. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can go on and rant about this thing for the next two minutes or however long the ride is. First, there was the descent. Or ascent. The ascent was bad enough. Slowly running out of room, trying to get to the top of this volcano. I think I broke the volcano at the top. Yeah, I remember freaking out about it <laughs> and getting really mad about the terrain editing tools in this game. Oh yeah, this was this was definitely one of those times. And then the descent was even worse. It was so painful trying to make it look not entirely stupid as it goes down this volcano. And then there was the speed issue. It was a brutal, it was a brutal, brutal coaster. But in the end, I actually kind of like it. There was the whole situation trying to get brakes to work. Too, so that was fun. But yeah, I kind of like this coaster. Not gonna lie. I wish there was a way I can get it closer to the sides without the sides completely blowing up and messing up, but there's no way to do that. <laughs> You work with what you got. I've said that twice already this episode. Make it a third. <laughs> Breaks. Slows it down just enough. Crazy spins. Spins. Drifts. More breaks. Slows it down just enough. Crazy rocking. That's the word I was looking for. More breaks. Oh no, I took those out. And put them right here. There they are. Down, down, down. I like how the UFO Adventure 
aka observation tower is just uh you can't see the pole and it was just kind of floating there yeah see it actually looks like a ufo that's amazing <laughs> it's amazing okay toad swamp time look at this thing this coaster is going to be difficult trying to ride okay let's see here the guests their heads are their heads are like this and now we're upside down. Okay, too much. I think we want to be like this. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm trying to make this look as realistic as possible. And I'm not sure if it's happening. Oh, there we go. As we fly over the water. I still haven't gotten around to putting trees around this thing yet. Oh my god. I mean, this thing needs trees. <laughs> it's missing something without them. You know, like, the whole making sense portion of the ride? Oh, look, ducks. <laughs> Toad Swamp minus trees. This was one of those coasters, I think, that was also kind of popular. And I tried using it in an advertising campaign to get more people to come to the park. Which I ultimately ended up regretting. Because more people in the park meant more lag. And I ultimately ended up closing the park because of the people in the park. Am I upside down right now? I don't even know what's happening anymore. We're in the station. But yeah, that was pretty much the gist of it. I think that was as accurate as I could get that. Toad Swamp. Okay, I think that's pretty much all those. Okay, and then on to Flooded Temple. The first time this ride's ever being ridden in this park. I never rode it. I thought, I think it's because I ran out of time in the episode and I planned on riding it. And then I lost the save file and then completely forgot about it. And a couple people were yelling at me later on, but I figured, you know what, I'll just ride it at the end instead of taking the time during the series to ride it. So yeah, I should pro probably change the colors of these cars. They, they totally don't go with the whole flooded temple theme. Again, this thing needs trees by it. It's definitely missing something without the trees. I remember also creating one of these on a live stream once, and it was probably about five to six minutes long of a ride. It was so long and so boring. So I think that's another reason why I avoided riding this one. <laughs> Until now. Until now. Splashing, running through ruins, more ruins and waterfalls. I hope we don't sink. Although, that's something that cannot actually happen. So there's nothing to actually be worried about. Okay, around we go. And there's, the, yep, there's another hill, isn't there? There it is. And it spirals down into the station. I think this was... I'm trying to remember if there was anything special about this ride. I don't think there was. I think I was kind of happy that the end kind of just ended up working. And I was able to get it to end that way, the way it ends. And then I just added water around it. Because I thought it looked cool. And then Flooded Temple, of course, just worked. So that's how that name was picked. <laughs> it's a pretty cool looking ride, not gonna lie. The moss and the pillars and everything. The cars, though, they need to change, color-wise. Definitely need to change. And down we go. Spinning, going down. I mean, this would probably be pretty fun to ride in real life, not gonna lie. It would probably be a lot of fun. Oh, I think this is, what, this is a part that just kind of ended up working. It goes under the track. And I put waterfalls. I think this is what I was thinking of. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> and then right into the right into the end here. Speed and spinning, and here we are. And I think that just about does it for the jungle area. Wow. Jungle area done. I'm I'm, I'm 
probably missing a ride here or there. Okay, actually, let's go to the amphibian hunt. Reptile hunt, amphibian house. Here we go. Look at those gators! Those gators! Dear God! Or are they Komodo dragons? They kind of look like Komodo dragons. I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. Look at those lizards! Look at those turtles! Those pointy ass turtles! <laughs> oh god. I actually love these houses. Because they're so poorly done. But I mean, it's a, it's a roll, it's an amusement park game. You build roller coasters. I just like how they put effort into making these things look the way they did. I love it. <laughs> I this is I actually love this. I'm not bashing it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Is that it? I think that might be it. There's not much going on here. Oh, here's the blob. Who the hell knows what the blob is? Is it supposed to be the frog that this thing's modeled after? Who knows? It's just a moving blob. Oh, look. It's those lizards that shoot blood out of their eyes. Actually, I'm not sure if it's those. Who the hell knows? It's impossible to tell. <laughs> That's amazing. I love the blob. Here we have the blob. All it does is sit there and twitch. It's greatest... Greatest... Um, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know how to narrate that. That's pretty much all you can do. Oh, that's great. That's great. The reptile house. And the giant toad slash frog. It's probably a frog. But the way it's colored, it, it could be a toad. I don't care. It's a toad in my book. Just because, guess what? That's what my channel's named after. Toads. Okay. You know what, let's go to the mountain first. I know we were doing slides and stuff in the water area, and then we went to the mountain, but let's just get the mountain out of the way. Because, I mean, it's in the jungle area. And it goes into... No, it doesn't. Okay, let's just do it. <laughs> One of my favorite looking rides in the park is Frozen Folly. And you know what, the name is pretty great, too. For some reason, I really like the name, and I really like the shape of the ride, the size of the ride. It's one of my favorites in the park. It's great. So here we go. And it was actually relatively easy to build, I think. I mean, for a ride like this, it didn't fly off the track at all. It's not going crazy fast in some area, in like, a lot of areas. It just ended up being perfect. Couldn't be happier with the way this thing turned out. Round, down, more helixes, picking up some speed, and then we go in the twists here. That eats up the speed we just picked up. Turns, a little hill there, hill, round, more turns. I mean, the turns are pretty much what makes the ride, actually. <laughs> the ride is sloping around so the more turns the better and I think I got the right amount of turns round 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 the ending was the only difficult part because look how fast we're going I'm trying to get back to the end and we were started up on a hill too but we got there in the end still haven't worked out paths yet <laughs> As you can tell, it's just kind of floating here. Same thing goes with the Alpine one. The entrance, the exit, just floating there. I'm probably going to path that up before releasing this, just to let you know. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. That was weird. How I couldn't ride it. Was it testing or was it just... I think it might have been off or closed, so that's why I couldn't ride it. Hopefully it didn't crash. I don't think it crashed. This thing can't crash. There's no way. It's pretty solid. On the track. Down we go. This one, yeah, this was a pain to build. I know for a fact it was a pain to build. Oh yeah, good times. Good times. I kept on hating everything I was doing. Up until this point. <laughs> it was going too fast. We weren't far enough down the hill. And then, you know what? In the end, I started liking the way it looked, right around here. I like the whole 
slowly going down the mountain, the hills, the whole mountain length I'm, this coaster takes up, which is pretty good. The fact that you can high-five people on that water slide, it's pretty great. The hills are kind of weird. They're bumpy and wobbly, but you know what? Hey, it's probably a lot of fun. <laughs> it's probably a lot of fun. Around. Around. And down. And up. And then you don't have to sit through a chain lift with this coaster. I should build all my rides like this. Where you actually don't sit there in the chain lift. That'd be great. Oh, God. So, yeah, I actually wanted to do that all along, and I was kind of happy I got to work in the end. So, there you go. Alpine Avalanche. Yes. I should be keeping a tally of all the names I remember. <laughs> I don't know how long this has been so far. we still got to do all the Atlantis area, and then these last couple ones. But I've been talking this whole time. Wow. Okay. No mechanics. Can reach tidal wave. Good. Let's see here. Which one should I start out with? How about... How about this, this, this coaster right here? This actually wasn't Whirlwind. The name doesn't actually really make sense anymore that I changed it to a water-themed uh, coaster. It initially wasn't in Atlantis, but then I found out you can make the car a fish. And then it was just changing the color, and guess what? It now fits in the uh, water area. So that's why I stuck with that one. It was the fish car. It was definitely the fish car. The eel. I'm pretty sure it's an eel. It's an eel. Yeah. Definitely. Or a barracuda. I can't remember anymore now. I think it's an eel. More a eel? Maybe? Don't know? Possibly? Who knows? Oh my. I just thought about Tube City and how impossible it's going to be to judge which rides I've been on and which ones I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh look, you completely go sideways here. One of the very few coasters that does that in this park. You think it would I'd have a couple that go sideways. But no, <laughs> I don't. Deal with it. I think I changed the ending here cuz I didn't like it. I think this was one of those ones where it was just kind of a boring ending. So I tried making it interesting. And you know what, I think I managed. A lot of crazy turns here. And that's just to the end. Whirlwind. Whirlpool would make a lot more sense with that one. But, you know what, I'm not going to change the name. Somebody went through the effort of thinking of that name, so it's going to stay that way. Okay, let's ride these boring rides right away. Dinosaur Go Around. I missed that one. I missed Dinosaur Go Around, and it just broke down anyway, so I can't even ride it. You know what? Dinosaur Go Around, everybody. I know I'm going to get complaints if I don't ride it. So here we go. Wee! Dinosaurs, we're going around. Wee! Look at them. Their heads are tilting. Wee! You know, that's the best you get. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've already ridden, rode, and ride in rides like that. An octopussy's gonna be the same. So here we go, let's ride the Odyssey ride. <laughs> it just spins you around at a slow speed. Why do you wanna ride it so badly? Cause there's dinosaurs. Yeah, that's kinda cool. But still. Something else just broke down probably. Oh. Look at this. It's creaky and terrifying. You know, even if the creaks were added to the ride to make it seem more authentic. I don't think I'd want to ride it if it creaked. <laughs> it makes it sound like it's going to fall apart. Which would be kind of terrifying. Man, this was on those ones. This one and Octopussy were next to each other. Fourth episode of the fir of the series. The first park. Fourth episode. Wow. I'm pretty sure the fourth episode is actually named Octopussy. <laughs> Octopus 1. This one isn't working. Okay, here we go. It's like a Merry Mixer. Scrambler. If you're from a different part of the world. Except the tentacles go up and down. And it's an octopus. 
There you go. <laughs> Good. Good. I didn't rename it. I should have renamed it. Oh well. So let's see here. Let's ride the water boats. Let's ride the water boats. That's not it. That's Whirlwind. Shivering Timbers! I like the name of this one. <laughs> and I was really excited when I found that, um... You can actually do trains turning uphill with this ride. This was actually built during a live stream, one of the first live streams I did. I wanted to build a water themed park, but I got distracted and then just stopped. So <laughs> that, that, that was the end of that. But I really liked this coaster, so I decided to save it and put it in the park. Changed the colors of it and Shivering Timbers perfect name for this ride. I wish you could change the boats though. Do they look like speed boats? I think they'd be cooler if they could look like, um, you know, pirate ships. That'd be pretty nuts. I'm gonna actually check that. I'm pretty sure I can't. Oh, here we go. Random water splashes. Amazing. That's, that's great. More chains uphill. There's those water particles freaking out from the, uh, aqua launcher coaster. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Shivering timbers, everybody. What a ride. And let's just verify that you can't actually change the... Sh yeah. No other type of vehicles. So, what are you gonna do? Okay, you know what? Let's go... Let's ride the serpent ride now. Oh, crap. It's going. Huh. Here we go. I mean, it just feels like we rode this one not that long ago. Probably around the 50s, 57, 58, you know what, don't quote me on that, that's probably way off. Probably way off. I like how you can see those textures glitching out. Right up here, the wall textures, look at those, they're sideways, they shouldn't be sideways. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the game's broken like that. Oh my god, yeah. All these tubes weren't here last time. <laughs> and down we go. Tube City. My favorite. It almost doesn't make it back. But it does. Oh my god, yeah. It really is really close there. Boom. What's this one? Loop Nest Monster. There we go. I was going to say, it's not the serpent because the serpent's the wooden roller coaster. Drift City has a very long ride time. I think people are still on Drift City. I closed five people on ride. They've been riding this whole time. Good, they're stuck there now. Okay. All oh, the water tricycles. I haven't put them back in yet. Oh, well. Can I actually ride this thing? Oh, look. Stingrays or manta rays. Look at that crab. Just like the worms. Starfishes. I think this is like the only view you get. Just of manta rays. Oh look, there's some angelfish. And that thing, a stonefish or a lionfish. I always get those two mixed up for some reason. I think one's really bad if you step on it and one's not. Lionfish I think is what they are. And some ugly yellow things. Blue things, some crabs, Dor Dory from Finding Nemo. I'm pretty sure her name's Dory. I forget. I actually forget. Oh, there's the uh, manta ray. Or is that this devil ray? It devil ray, I think manta ray are the same. I can't remember. Fish! <laughs> there you go. Fish. Okay. Time to ride Tidal Wave. This was actually one of the first rides put in. This was one of the originals too, but I moved it for the sake of making sense and fitting more rides in. <laughs> That's why I moved it. Yeah, it didn't really make sense in the first area. And it's a really, really, really long ride for a short amount of excitement. It's not, not that great, <laughs> come to think of it. For a splash boat, it's not that great. Up, 
and up and up and we're there S bend I had to do that just so it would fit which was probably another problem with it and big drop and a long way back to the station <laughs> a very long way back let's go through all this and you're actually gonna make me sit here and ride this because you're gonna complain if I don't so here we are are you happy now are you happy you're forcing me to ride slow boring parts of the ride that don't actually matter yeah, I bet you're happy. I bet you're real happy. <laughs> oh, and we're there. Boom! It's tidal wave, everybody. Splash boats. Um, ignore that. <laughs> ignore it. Okay, is that that is all the rides in Atlantis, minus the pool. So here we go, into the pool. We're almost done here. Holy crap, we're almost done. It's been way long. But here we go, probably one of the longest areas to ride because of all these slides. Let's get this tongue one out of the way. Tongue Twister. Perfect name. Here we go. A pain in the ass of a ride, but you know what? We got there in the end. It's also very weird looking. But Tongue Twister works. Maybe we'll see the flying coaster. Come overhead. Probably not, because there's a lot of places that coaster can be right now. That has a lot of track to it. <laughs> oh crap, we're not even looking the right way anymore. There we go. Nope, get that out of here. I remember saying, let's make the tubes blue so it looks like spit. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, right here is where it looks weird. It goes really fast. Almost to the point of flying off the track, and it loses all its speed. Which means this ride was a pain in the ass to make. I definitely remember that one, it wasn't that long ago. Right here it almost flies off. And then it loses all its speed, right here. So I had to put another chain hill in. Look at, look at that, look how weird that is, jeez. <laughs> so strange. It's actually going inside t the toad foot there. Good. Oh, we're backwards now. This should be fun. And we're rotating around, and we're in the pool! Splash. Amazing. Tongue twister. Okay. Let's do the aqua blaster one. I'm trying to... Oh, that's the wrong thing. I'm trying to get these to make sense here. Here we go! The cheese grater effect. As we go through the walls, we barely make it up top here, nice and calm. Nice and calm, picking up speed. And... Boosting it right now! <laughs> up an embankment. Crazy speed right here. Crazy speed right here, I actually like this ride. Even though the particles break and they're flying around my park right now. I like how crazy it is. I can really appreciate that. <laughs> Blast to Oblivion. What a name. Okay. Now what on earth am I going to do at this part? How about I ride these three first. They land in the splash pool. And then I'll go from left to right. I think that's the best way to do it. Or you know what, I'll just go left, from left to right, right away. I won't do these three first. Okay, here we go. Let's ride Orange Peel. A name that just ended up working out perfectly. There was a lot of actually good names for this one. But I settled with Orange Peel because I think it was the most picked. Yeah, I remember now. I'm pretty sure I had the names quacking onto the screen as well. Good time. But this is one that's very long. And you have no idea when it's going to end. Because it's the same thing the whole time. So you just got to sit and wait. Probably a lot of fun to ride in real life. But we'll never know. Because it doesn't actually exist. Here we go, the end. And there is no end bit here, it's just two. 
I would have put a flume end then, but you can't because it is just, it's on an angle, and they don't let you for some reason. Bloodline. Actually, does this one land in the splash pool or the actual pool? I think it lands in the actual pool. I'll tell you in a second. Yep, it lands in the actual pool. <laughs> this one's crazy. Bright red, and it runs through most of the tube city, so Bloodline just made sense. God, Tube City. What an amazing, amazing, and amazing, 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 amazing feature of the park. People come to this park just for Tube City. They show up, go right to the pool, ride every single tube 20 times in one day, and then go home. Because it's just Tube City. There's Bloodline. Okay, here is Tornado Drill. Well, I think this was the first one. Was it the first one? It might be the first one. I can't remember. But it's definitely one of the first ones. One of the first three, definitely. It might be the first one. Got its name. Because the ending looks like a tornado. And it spins. I think there's some helixes in it. I don't know. It just... The name just looked like the ride. So I picked it. And then it was just simply changing the colors so they fit in. And it was great. <laughs> It was great. It's going slow here. See, I don't even remember this ride. <laughs> I don't remember how it goes. Except for the end. It's going very slow. Compared to all the other tubes. Wow. I'm actually surprised on how slow this is going right now. It's actually kind of ter- It's scary how slow that is. Okay, I remember putting that drop in here. There we go. That's more like it. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. We actually hit the other slide. <laughs> Perfect. Oh no, I clicked the wrong thing. We actually hit the toothpaste one. Toothpaste Turbulence. Another good name. Here we go. Toothpaste Turbulence. I think this one's relatively short. Pretty fast. Oh. And the name came from its colors. The colors just kind of worked out. And... Is it me that you're going slow? It looks like it goes slow in some spots. I think it might just be me, though. I'm going crazy. It has, has a good speed. I think. <laughs> Definitely picking up speed now. And we're in the pool. Splash. Okay, on to the green one, Viper. The colors with this one, once again. A lot of these were named for their colors, I think. Viper, Viper makes sense here. I don't even know if it's there's helixes or not. <laughs> I think so. Is this a helix? Maybe. Who knows? Oh my God! Holy crap! That was pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure we almost flew out with those brakes in the tube. That was awesome. Time Twister. Okay, this was one of those ones that wasn't named for its color. But, so be it. <laughs> so be it. It's still a good name. Is this the one? Yes, yeah, this is the one that barely makes it right here. Thank you, Low Friction. Low Friction saved the day on that one. <laughs> Around into a pole into another pole if I remember correctly. There's a third pole Oh, I guess I didn't remember correctly We almost hit the edge of the pool Great <laughs> amazing Okay, and on to fun and done Yes, <laughs> I Love remembering these names. It makes me feel proud because it's fun. Right here, this crazy drop. Fast speeds, fun, fun, fun. More fun, a lot of fun. Look at all this fun. And we're still having fun. It's still fun. Plenty of fun. Oh, wow. Did I put low friction on that? Because I remember it, I definitely did. Yep. It was a lot slower, which was why it was like fun and then done, 
because it was fun hills and then it was like really slow, boring end. Which is why I picked the name. But with low friction, it's mostly just, it's fun and fun. Purple Nurple. <laughs> Couple people on Purple Nurple. Pretty good slide name, if you ask me. Especially because there's just, even a little twist makes sense. Because it's purple and you twist. Which is what a Purple Nurple is. If you don't know what a Purple Nurple is, how do you not know what a Purple Nurple is? Step one. Grab hold the nipple. Step two. Twist the nipple. Step three. Purple Nurple. <laughs> In case you didn't know. Wow, this thing's pretty fast. <laughs> One of those fast ones. Really fast. Good. I like flat, fast slides. The faster, the better. Oh my god. One more. Two more slides left in Tube City. Once you ride them all like this, it doesn't seem like there's that many. There's actually a lot of tubing going on here. Sewer escape! Here we go. We're riding a green slimy tube through the sewer. I think this was... Was this the last one built? I think so, yeah. The last slide built in Tube City. I started running out of room. And I was like, you know what? I think I made my point. I probably could have gotten one or two more slides in here without a problem. But, like I said... My point's been made. If I want a slide there, I can put a slide there. And... Oh, wow. There was some wall sticking through there. Splash. Okay, and then the last slide in Tube City is Crapshoot. <laughs> Crapshoot, what a slide. I named this one. I know for a fact I named this one. <laughs> Poop shoot would have also been good, but crap shoot. Like the saying goes, it's crap shoot. Guess what? This is literally a crap shoot. It's the crap shoot. Crap shoot. Did I mention crap shoot? Super fast! Round the toilet bowl! As we ride our turd to victory. And we're done. Get spiked into the ground and we can see through the world. Perfect. Wow. That's Atlantis, everybody. That is Atlantis. Holy crap. We're just about done riding every single ride in the park. You know what? And before you yell at me for not riding the monorail, let's take care of that right now. That's Babby Coaster, not the monorail. Suspended monorail train. I, I know I'd get yelled at if I didn't ride this. So here we go. It doesn't go through all the park. And the initial plan was to make it go through all the park. But then, there's really no point because there's nobody in the park. And I have a coaster that goes around the park now. So even a sightseeing aspect, I mean, you can't really see all that well through this thing. <laughs> the glasses makes it really crappy. <laughs> but you know what? I'm riding it for you. I'm riding it for you. And actually, you know what? Maybe I will make it go through the park. I don't know. Oh, uh, am I gonna have to sit here in these... Or is it just gonna go? Okay, good, it's just gonna go. Thank God. Here we go. <laughs> we have a lot of places to go through. The fact that it's starting to lag is kinda scary. I've been recording non-stop this whole time. I made sure I had a lot of memory, or a lot of memory, a lot of gigabytes free on my hard drive for this episode. But I have been recording for a long time. So here's to hoping it's going to be alright. Oh god. I'm scared. I'm scared. I want to I get this all done. So far it's been one take. I haven't stopped at all. Non-stop. I've been non-stop talking. I should have had a timer. Even though I wasn't actually timing myself um, for the length of the video, it'd be kind of cool to see how long I've been talking for non-stop. Although, normally I do live streams like three hours non-stop talking. So, I do usually have a drink though when I do that. I haven't had a drink at all this entire time. You could probably hear it in my voice, like my mouth is really dry right now. <laughs> Oh god. But we're almost done. And I'm probably not gonna even... Usually when I make my videos, I record it, 
I play through the whole thing again, edit it, remove some parts if they need to be removed, change the volume in areas that needs to be changed, and then render it. With this, I'm probably not going to do that at all. I'm probably just going to throw it all into Sony Vegas and then click render. <laughs> Sync up the audio and the the visual here, the audio and the um, actual video, and hit render. <laughs> it's going to take a long time to render, a long time to upload. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm probably just going to set it and forget it. There's no way I'll be able to watch through all this. I don't have that time. And it's it's really late right now. So, yeah. As we finish up on the monorail here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> just wow. Speechless. It's, it's a great monorail. It's actually left me speechless. In the last few rides, the last few rides, Hairpin Coaster, let's ride that one first. Hanging Death. It's been, it's been crazy. A crazy series. This ride, this, I can't believe how high rated this thing is. For what it is, you know what? If I had my way, I would have made it completely different. But with the the rating, I can't change it. It's one of the highest rated things in the park. <laughs> so I can't change it. I don't want to ruin it. I mean, if you like really intense rides, it's the ride for you. <laughs> there you go. That's the best way I can put it. Whoa! Practically sideways there. Even right here. It's going pretty fast as the frame rate drops. Come on, come back, frame rate. Come back. Oh, this isn't looking good, everybody. This isn't looking good. We're at the really low numbers right now. Too long. It took too long. Oh, God. Hanging death. There we go. I don't know if I can keep going or not. I don't know. I can't. Well, the two rides we didn't ride. The spinning or the mudslide, which we rode last episode, and Love Roller Coaster, which I've rode numerous times. Live stream, and then we just rode that one too. So you know what, I think this is a good place to end. As my hard drive is completely full with Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 footage now, and I'm getting like two frames, it's a perfect place to end. So, what more can I say? From the very start, I this this whole series just started out as a filler series. I never planned on making this a thing. The only reason I did start playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 was because I couldn't record Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And then when I figured out how to record Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, I was just going to stop this dead. Episode 20 was going to be the episode where I blew up the first park, ran roller coasters into everybody, and then I was going to end it. But all the people wanting me to do more is what made me do a second park. And from episode 20 to now, 50 episodes of this. I've said it last episode, I pretty much... I beat the game to death. <laughs> oh, man. I would have liked to ride the flying coaster around one more time, but I can't. The game, it won't allow me. It won't allow me. I'm at a hard drive room. I have to pause the game now just to make scrolling relatively smooth. But, wow. 50 episodes of good episodes. That's the way I put it. 1 through 20, I think, were terrible. If I could redo those, I would get rid of them completely, and number 20 would be the first episode, but what are you going to do? <laughs> those first episodes of me getting really angry, cursing left and right, wow, good times, good times. So, if you enjoyed this whole series, I will be playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 on the live stream. I won't be starting a new park right away because I still got some work to do in this one. I want to clean it up before I upload it, so I'll probably be live streaming that. 
And then when that's uploaded, I'll start a new park and live stream that. So like I've said at the beginning, the Twitch, my Twitch um, link will be in the description along with everything else, Facebook, Twitter. Twitter's the best way to get notified of live streams because a message automatically gets sent out. Also, I upload a video when I start live streaming. And yeah, I'll try to give some more headway instead of just, you know what, live streaming right now. I'll try to give you some hours to prepare. So, thank you all for watching this series and sticking through to the end. It's been crazy. It's the most popular one on my channel. And it's been a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like and a favorite if you enjoyed. They help out a lot. Be sure to follow me on Twitch so you can keep watching Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. And I'll see you in the next series, which will be, I can tell you right now, Zoo Tycoon 2. I have the CD right here in my hand, and that should be a lot of fun. So, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.